up? Welcome back to another video, guys. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America. What a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous bike. But right before we hop into all the details of the bike, I wanna talk about the launch, the debut of the bike. Um, if you guys saw the debut today on Harley Davidson's website, um, what you think about it? Drop your thoughts down below right now before we get into the video. Um, me personally, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was um, uh, captivating. I thought it was, um, I, I thought they hit the nail right on the mark as far as advertisement and who their demographic is gonna be with this product. I think they did a very good job putting everything together. Um, and Jason Momoa, she was the one who directed the whole uh, the whole thing. And um, I think he did a great job. So uh, kudos to Harley for Davidson for that. Kudos to uh, Jason for a great job with that video. Now, if you have yet to see that, um, check it out. It, it's definitely a good watch. Now, a few other things I wanna talk about before we get into the discussion of the bike and all the specs and everything is why Harley Davidson made this bike i know a lot of you guys right now are like scratching your heads and you've been scratching your heads for the past half a year or so to a year since you knew that this bike was coming um i know that the main harley clientele is like kind of upset about this move they're kind of confused about what's going on and if you watch the video they make a really good point so in the video that they started talking about the heritage and how harley davidson became what it is today as far as uh, adventures and riding, um, finding new destinations, uh, riding cross countries, and just touring around anywhere. And it doesn't have to be in the US, it could be out in Australia, Europe, Asia, Africa, wherever it is. And they brought up a good point and they said, we were doing this since day one. Um, the, the, uh, the original, Harley Davidson clientele that was buying bikes in 1903, 05, 07, 08, they were taking these bikes out to the wilderness. Don't forget that back then, there was no paved roads. Everything was dirt roads. And when it rained, forget about it. It was, it was, it was a mud. It was, it was mud everywhere. So you, you, were, you were riding through grass and dirt terrains everywhere. And you either had a few forms of transportation that was either a horse, a carriage, a bicycle, um, and cars were, you know, coming out around the same time and everything, but, you know, it's, cars were more pricier. So people started buying these bikes and they started utilizing them for the transportation and they started racing with them and these dirt roads and climbing up hills. And these are bikes that have nowhere near the type of horsepower or torque that the modern Harley Davidson bikes have today. And they were able to do so much just with those bikes. So think about what you'll be able to do today with this new Pan America. Now, with that being said, is Harley Davidson late to the race with this bike? With what I just said before, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say no, they're not late. I'm not gonna say yes, they're not. Um, I think what they're doing right now is relatively smart on their end. I think, I think they're doing the right thing. Now with a little spiel out the way, let's talk about the specs um, and the colors and everything about the bike. So we got two platforms for the Pan America. We have the base model line and then we got the special model line, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought there was only gonna be one bike and they were just gonna, you know, uh, just give you options. But there's a base and then there's a special, which is awesome. So the base starts at $17,319. And the special comes at $19,999. Uh, both, I, I'm, Harley Davidson, wow, 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 you kind of blew, blew my mind today when I saw this price points. I was literally thinking, and it was just a rumor for a while that everyone thought that they were going to highly overprice these bikes and put them in the low 20s, um, but at $17,000 for an entry level bike, uh, adventure bike, that's, that's under the competition. So th this is like such a strategy that they're using right now and they're coming hard. They're, they're gonna try to kill this competition, man. Like you're coming at a price that's under the competition. That's number one. 
Number two, the bike, the design and everything, I've said it since day one. I've made a previous video to this and even when, when it first surfaced the, the internet, I was a huge fan of the bike since day one. I thought the design was beautiful and I said it from day one. I think it is the most beautiful, most luxurious looking adventure bike there is. You cannot put a GS next to that bike or put a KTM next to that bike and say that those bikes look better. There's no way. The Harley Davidson design team did a tremendous job with this bike. Now you're also gonna have different paint options on both bikes, on both the base and the special. Um, the special has that nice white and orange color that I really like a lot. It's really, really, really cool. Okay, so design wise, beautiful, I love it. Um, when it comes to the engine, let's talk about the engine. We've got the Revolution engine on there's a brand new engine on the Harley Davidson platform. It is a beautiful design engine. The Revolution Max 1250 puts out 150 horsepower, which is pretty good. And from the sounds of the video, the, the engine and the exhaust just sounded really, really nice. Um, I, ca I cannot wait to hear it in person how that bike is gonna sound. And I can just, I cannot wait to hear the aftermarket sounds after you switch out an exhaust or something and it's, it's, it's gonna be epic. Talking about the 1250 right now as well, if, did you guys get a glimpse at the Custom? They, they kinda give the Custom a few more glimpses around now and that bike looks beautiful. But let's get back to the Pan America. Now the base model comes weighing in around 534 pounds and the Special comes in weighing around 559 pounds. So uh, a bit of a difference right there when it comes to weight. On the standard, you're gonna have the nice mag wheels which look pretty nice. But on the special, you're gonna have the option to get these spoke, beautiful tubeless wheels on there. Um, they look phenomenal. The special is also gonna come with a few different little upgrades. It's gonna come with heated grips, it's gonna come with hand guards, a skid plate, uh, mud guards, and a few other little things. A few other things that it's just it's just a lot. Now you're also gonna have the option to add the adaptive ride height, which is pretty awesome. When so when you get on the bike and you're at still, the bike is gonna be at a lower level. Once the bike takes off and you're running it just raises up, um, which is which is awesome. So for us shorter riders, that's, an, that's a plus plus right there, really cool. Um, that's gonna bring you an extra $1,000 in case you want that on your bike. This bike is also gonna come with a few different riding modes. Yes, finally, I've been talking so much in my previous videos talking about Harley Davidson needs to bring riding modes. They, they need to bring those riding modes onto the baggers that they have right now. But I guess, I'm, and I'm happy that they, uh, introduce it onto this bike so riding modes on there pretty pretty cool this bike is also going to come two up ready which is a plus it's going to come with mid controls which is another plus it's going to give you a nice little plantation feeling when you're on this bike and 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 rdrs is going to be standard on the bikes as well so which is another plus on the baggage right now it's an additional cost that you gotta pay for now as far as dates and when this bike will be available to purchase i'm not too sure on that yet i'm gonna keep you guys in the loop in the next two or three months um it's gonna be ready for the summertime i cannot wait to throw a leg over this bike and take it out on some type of dirt road <laughs> i mean it's gonna be hard for me to run here but i know for people out in the midwest out on the west coast you guys have the deserts and all type of different uh riding areas uh, that's what that bike is gonna be for. That bike is gonna be mainly for you. People who live up in the mountains and everything is gonna be really, really cool. Um, sure, people do buy adventure bikes who, you know, who live in city areas at times, but it's not gonna be as much as, you know, for those people who live out in the country who are gonna really use and uh, take that bike to its fully potential and, you know, take it out there just to have fun with it. Um, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the price. I'm blown away by the design. I'm blown away by the introduction of the bike onto the platform. I feel that a lot of people are gonna gravitate towards this bike a lot. Um, and I cannot wait to see these bikes out on the road. Now me personally, would I buy this bike? Probably not, not right now because it, it's, I, I just, around my area, I don't I don't have off-roading capabilities. I, you know, for me it's gonna be like, all right, well, what, what, what am I gonna get the bike for? It's like. The bike is really gonna be fun for you to go off-roading and uh, unfortunately I don't have that around me where I live at. Um, in the near future, who knows, maybe. Um, I, I think it's a, it's, I'm impressed. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say, I'm really impressed. I'm also really interested into knowing your thoughts down below. Now there's a lot of people out there who, myself, are constantly complaining about you know the company. Um, we wanna see more, we wanna see change when it comes to certain things. And I think what Harley Davidson is doing right now is, is what we've been asking for. 
um, little by little they're you know bringing a few things out this could be you know uh, a gateway to a whole ton of new fun and different bikes um, with different stuff uh, different technology stuff that we've been asking for riding modes uh, you know <laughs> um, I think this is a good thing I, I think Harley Davis is moving in the right spot um, for a lot of you people who are just like no 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 just bring the diner back just let's keep it old school the company needs to do different things um, it needs to attract new riders and it needs to move on with technology and adapt to what's going on in today's world yesterday was a whole different day from what it is today and things are moving very quickly right now if that makes any sense so as things change companies need to change and things new things need to come so we all need to be a little bit more open-minded and accept these things because they're just gonna make the company better um, more longevity and it's gonna make the company that we love so much grow and last because 1903 and we're still pumping Harley Davidson is still here that's something that you should be very happy about especially if you own a Harley Davidson I, that's, I own two and I love both my babies and that's it I hope you enjoyed today's video guys thank you so much for watching drop your thoughts about the Pan America down below I would love to hear what you think about the bike Will you be buying in Pan America? Are you in the market? You're going to want to go throw a leg over and see how it feels. Drop your thoughts down below, guys. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.